so much. All right, so this is a continuation of a session, and <clears throat> this is the fourth session uh, in heuristic principles that we are having today. Um, so today's session is more about going to be more about <clears throat> the discussions, the discussions about uh, the examples that we have identified for the first heuristic that we discussed and uh, the second one. So let me uh, share my screen. All right. <clears throat> so where did we end last? Um, did we cover this? Um, I think Ambalika's um, Rupali. We were discussing on that. We don't have. We haven't seen this. Yeah. So yeah, this is the one that we saw. Uh, we also discussed Amanat Sheik, this one. I recall recall that. Uh, did we discuss this? Amanat? Is Amanat part of the call? No, he's not joined yet. No. Okay, he hasn't joined yet. Okay, uh, all right, so then we can move on. Uh, Vinod, Vinod, are you on the call? Oh, Vinod is also not there. Okay. Namrata? Yeah, hi, Rupali. Uh, hi. Good morning, on. Yeah. Yeah, we can, I think we can get started from here. Okay, yeah. So this is the example that I have recently found uh, in a food counter. So in some places I have seen that uh, the, the display board is showing only the, uh, this uh, above the first example that I have shown here, that is uh, your order is ready, and then just the number. So these numbers are not referring any kind of a, a serial number or the SIG number or the table number or the order number. So this is a little confusing for a user who is uh, running out of time or who is very hungry and uh, they have something very urgent and they have to do their, uh, like they are very much uh, waiting for their food. So this is very difficult and they has to go every time uh, to the counter and to ask uh, what is the status of the food. So I thought it is not a clear indication to the user or, or the uh, like uh, the customer that uh, uh, their uh, what is the status of their uh, food. And the second example that I have found and recently been used in some of the uh, like applications are also in the live counter that they are completely uh, displaying their order number, name, status, and which in which time the food will be prepared. So I thought this might be a better indication for the user, like for the customer, that how much time they need to wait. So I found this two example to come uh, to uh, give the example of the visibility of system status. Uh, the second one is, uh, from my understanding, it is pass because we are getting the exact time uh, to reach uh, the uh, the destination, right? And so here the destination is uh, when my food will be ready. So yeah, so this is getting the exact. Uh, amount of the details so yeah this is the first example of mine okay so what you're saying here is <clears throat> that uh, where do i stand where where am i yes yes so i am not able to un get receive information in regards to uh you know where am i uh, yes. where am i uh, that i have requested for something yeah am i receiving it on on time am i am not receiving it on on time is my order taken really there is a lot of confusion on because it is not giving me enough information that is exactly. what you're saying. exactly right okay okay that's interesting and yeah uh, so this is the first thing and uh, yes just recently i had this experience in our office so i thought that would be a good example uh, yeah. from understanding yeah 
Correct. And like we said, uh, spoke about the last time also, if there is any kind of a confusion or any kind of a different opinion, feel free to voice it out. Uh, only understand that every problem that is failing don't only match with one of the heuristics, right? Um, Namrata has brought up the, the example of um, a heuristic failing in this way, but this could really map to multiple other heuristic principles that have broken okay mm -hmm. so look at it holistically also and look at it from this example also any thoughts and this session is supposed to be also I mean, this is a discussion session okay tuesday sessions are where we are introducing new um principles talking about it that is you know where i would be talking more but this is for discussion so please voice your opinions that is very important designers have to talk all right i will not uh, push yeah. Yeah, Namrata, go ahead. Yeah, uh, so this is the another example of our daily life. That is, uh, we all are using uh, cars, and uh, this is the example of a EV car, uh, electric. Uh, uh, so EV uh, car. So here, uh, so this is the example of a visibility of systems just passed. So if you can see uh, in the image one, image two, and image three, here all the descriptions are clearly visible like the first image is showing how much charge is left and how much i can cover the kilometer i can cover using that particular charge and uh, how much like percentage is remaining so yeah this is the first example the second example when the charge is completely lost and they are stating uh, uh, they are giving a, a clear indication that can't uh, car cannot be pulled out uh, so pull out the charge to the plug so this is uh, they needs to plug in uh, or or charger is needed for this and the last one is the back camera where I have found they are giving this kind of a sensor, proximity sensor, or the sound alert. Uh, in recently, in all of the, all the cars, they are using the voice commands that uh, you are just mostly reaching or hitting to the next uh, car or check the clear surroundings and everything. So they are guiding the uh, user or the driver that uh, how to like uh, how to park their car when it is a uh, reverse gear. So yeah, these three are. I feel like the visibility system status has been taken care by uh, taken care very much carefully. So yeah, this is the past scenarios I have shown here. Okay. Yeah. I think these are great examples. But I want to hear others talking. I really appreciate Namrata that very good Thank examples you. has shown. And Namrata, the last one, image three, that is a, a somewhere kind of Tesla that you can. Yeah. Park you can take the reverse yeah. gear and all the stuff and this image is also is i'm using my car which is uh, like a tata ultros that uh, in this car also uh, this uh, functionality is there so i found that this is when i was driving that time i found that it, it could be a good example <laughs> so yeah yeah the third option right? third option yeah 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 prabhiran you were saying something yeah, that uh, facility is uh, in ultros in third option, no? the third image. Yeah. So yeah. First and second image in EV card. In EV card. Right. Right. Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Mahindra, thoughts? What do you think about vis visibility of system status in the examples that Namrata shared? Ali, I'm just sorry. I'm writing in transit, so I'm going to office right now. So no problem. Maybe, okay. but you are able to uh, uh, see what I'm just we are listening talking. right now. That's okay. it. Okay, you are not able to see visual. Yes, yes, yes. No, I mean you are able to see visuals, or you are not able to see visuals. I can see, but not. Okay. <laughs> Uh, continuously no problem no problem uh anybody else mahesh mahesh holala yeah Rubali. yes your thoughts no this is a great example okay 
<clears throat> what to what is what is what is that you like about this? How does you know what is the visibility of certain status that you have noticed in this? Mm. Yeah, I guess uh, I I feel what I, if 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 I see in image one, image two, mm -hmm. uh, image one and two, in image two one, we we have seen so much uh, data points, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know how how can we. Uh, this is a very impact. Uh, so many data points are shown here. Mm -hmm. And a bit confused between the uh, battery ka thing. Okay. Uh, charge charge time estimate and in below that, in, if you see first image, mm -hmm. uh, there are two battery ka signs. Mm -hmm. this Correct. One this is one, one and this one. one. And this, yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm a bit confused between these two. Okay. Oh, that is a very interesting observation. So I I believe that because uh, so there are two batteries indication are there. The below one, which is providing the left amount of charge uh, or the fuel uh, that is there, like nine percent, and the upper one, the, the the larger battery that is showing the limit. Like uh, if it is a hundred percent charge, then how much kilometer we can cover? So that is giving a overall estimation. So that is what I I I feel. Hmm right okay and bottom one that is uh when we plug it's showing that one or what yeah when we are charging it's showing the yeah okay we, we may not want to figure out what it is really doing here uh but uh what you're trying to say is that while there is a visibility of system status uh, that is what i'm hearing manish that there is some amount of um comprehension uh, or decoding that the user has to spend some time on the screen to understand things that is what you're trying to say right this is visibility of system status uh, is being shared with a lot of different elements on the screen that is what i hear from you yeah right right and namrata because she is used to looking at this dashboard she is able to understand what this uh, 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 parameters here are showing versus what is sh being shown here. She has clear system uh, because she has she is already a par user. She right. used the system. Right. Because I never drive. Uh, I never gone with this example. So Got maybe uh, I am not aware about True. about this. True. And that's a uh, no wise and a uh, par user yeah. difference. Yeah. Right. Perfect. But these are good. You know, these are good points. Okay. Let's yeah. move ahead. Yes, Varun. Varun, Varun, yeah. 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 So first product I choose is Gmail since I use every on daily basis. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I get get a new email, uh, the system shows how many numbers of email you got, and in contrast color also. So this comes under uh, success. So system mm -hmm. shows what is going on the your you know screen and what is the action. So the sec second uh, one uh, I choose is when I move any email to any labels like personal label or maybe even in uh, trash, it, hmm. it shows the pop up like the action has been completed. So this also comes under the success status. Mm -hmm. but, at, but at the same time, after completing the action, I don't see how many numbers of email I have moved to the personal level or maybe in trash. So uh, that comes under fail. Like if I want to check okay, how many email I have, uh, you know, moved to the personal level, I have to go there on the personal section and see like that email has been moved to this section or not. Hmm. So, <clears throat> okay. So upfront you are saying that it is not giving you that information. Right, right. I have to go okay. there and see like it is there or not. Right. Okay. And there was one more that I think you had put here. Oh, sorry, that was Amanat. Okay. Yes. Okay. Any thoughts, anybody? Yes, I have one thought. Uh, yes. In Gmail, uh, yes. Uh, in Gmail, I think the unread count is uh, show on the right side. Means uh, right now in the screen inbox, two email is unread. So that's why two email uh, uh, counter is there. So uh if i move any unread email to in a label 
So uh, beside the label also, they are uh, showing the number of the unread mail. Mm -hmm. so, um, OK. Hmm. So that is the reason what you're saying is that the reason it doesn't show you. Basically, it is not showing you the total count of emails, but it is showing you always only going to be showing you unread. unread. That's the reason it is not showing uh, hmm. what Amanat discovered. Yes. OK. No, that's a, that's the rationale behind it and uh, still uh, uh, Avarun, not Amar, Avarun uh, identified that uh, he is not receiving that information so these are different needs of different users right and uh, and you spoke about the rationale behind why that how it gmail works all good points any other thought? Okay, let's move ahead. Yes, Varun. Yeah, the second product I have chosen uh, water purifier. So okay. this water purifier gives uh, has um, multiple icons which shows uh, what is going on in the system. So if the machine is on, it shows in contrast color like green that machine is on. It also shows a uh, water purification is going on or not. How many, I mean, how many liters is the machine is full of water or not? So this comes, this comes under the uh, success status system success. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I don't see how to use this product. Like if I want to get water, how can you get the water? It doesn't have any you know indication like switch on this button or pull or push anything. So this mm -hmm. comes to the failed status. OK. Yeah. OK. So while we understand, you know, you have to press this to really get water. Is that what you're saying? But then it is that mm -hmm. um, uh, that is not really adequate information. Yeah, is that yeah. what you're saying? Yes, because there are multiple icons also. If I, you know, like how can i know i'll have to push those icons and get the water i'll have to push this pull and push this yeah very interesting very interesting so what when you start the system you see a combination of a digital interface yeah. and a manual interface which is a combination of that yeah. right yeah. and there is some amount of time that you have to figure out that what do you use a digital interface or versus what do you use for minimal um, a manual interface and you do not you have to only depend on the manual interface to get water but you don't have anything on the digital one uh, so there is some amount of time uh, that you have to spend comprehending how this system is going to work right, right. so you know below the icon there is no information has written because i unable to see that but I think there is something is written, right? It's not clear into the image. Yeah, yeah. on and log out. I can I can figure it out. Log out something or maybe just close or shut down the system. But rest of I I can't see that. You might have taken the picture, so you can. Uh, so you think like uh, overall it's not helpful because you don't understand like how to uh, where I should press the button so I will get the water. Right, right, right. And even like. There are icons for press and how many liter. I mean, uh, machine is full of water or not. So that also in if if you do any numbers like how many liters are there, hmm. that will also help. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. So you spoke about a lot of things. You spoke about help. So again, you know, I'm now starting pointing out uh, other uh, heuristics here. So you're speaking, speaking about a lot of other problems. And these are all um, usability issues that are there. And one of the principles that you're talking about, that is, that is what you're relating here. Right now, it is not telling me that how much liters of water uh, it is it has in uh, within it, uh, right, which is filled. So I don't have clarity of information there. Uh, mm -hmm. While probably when there is less water, it will tell me that, okay, I have to start refilling it. And it is not indicating me very clearly that how do I get water. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Other? Anybody else? Priyanka? 
Yes, I have used uh, these kind of filters uh, once or twice. And I also am confused at the first how to uh, get the water. Mm. So is it press or pull or rotate? So that was confusing. Correct. And one more um, thing, how do we know that uh, the water only will uh, mm, uh, flow from that tap, maybe cold drinks or maybe milk. <laughs> yeah, and that happens so many times with those vending machines in office, right? There are three taps, and I am all you know. I see people like trying to figure out, you know, not get your cup in the wrong place, and there is hot water that is streaming out. Yes, Namrata. Yeah, conclusion. <laughs> yes. Uh, so yeah, just from this. Uh, uh, this uh, water filter, I'm not able to understand why this green bar is at the end is popping up and in between there is no color. Like, is it uh, so? What is the like, what is the scenario of this? Yeah, so in between there is no green color. So, what it is indicating that is yes. an interesting alignment for the designers, Namrita. That is for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, means I'm. I just want to uh, know key. What is the status? Yeah, there is like some it? function. Uh, there is uh, a disable icon for uh, filter. Uh, these yeah. there are two lines here. So there is a yeah. green leaf here, which is again of the same style. And then there are two lines here. So Namrata wants to know: is this, these lines are just design, or this it's functional? Just, uh, is it functional or not? And when it it uh, got like. Functional hota hai, kab hota hai, kaise hota hai. So, is, is ka kuch reason hai kya? Just I, I'm wondering to just I thought. Oh, 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 I can yeah. filter ka. So, again, okay. filter is uh, like you have, if you, you have to change the filter if there will be red, red line or something like that. So, you have to change the filter. Oh, okay. You have to change the, you have to get the service person to change the filter. Yes. So, this line changes to which line changes to this line changes to red. No, disable one that yeah that one that gray one gray in between Achha, yeah, this one this one mm -hmm. okay yeah Namrata, that's your answer mm -hmm. now you agree to that or not is another question but yeah <laughs> okay yeah Prabhupada. yes so i recently found in my uh, home laptop and office laptop so first image is my home laptop so uh, हम लोग जब रिस्टार्ट करते हैं या पोर्ट स्टॉप करते हैं, so the power button, the LED is indicating I am switching off the laptop or switching on, so वो अंदर the finger चला जाता है, so it's not clearly visible to the user के मेरा अभी लैपटॉप ऑन हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है, वो एक्जेक्टली exactly पता नहीं चल रहा है, so first option is I am feeling the uh, the system uh, visibility is uh, status wo thoda poor hai iska aur next the second image the green wala usme clearly ye visible hota hai ki this is uh, four stop ya power on ho raha hai ya wo led indicator ek uh, properly visible hota hai second image second image yeah you what you're saying is when you switch off uh, this these lights go away and when you switch on these lights light up yes the past image wo isme jo button ke andar ek led indicator hai so wo under the finger chala jata hai acha got it and got second it. page ye button ke side pe hai so when i am switching on or uh, uh, giving four stop in the laptop so ye indicator uh, clearly visible on the second option. Yes. Yes. This is also a good example. Very good example. Yes. And I like the comparison that is there. That, therefore, you know, you so, so many people want to some, you know, innovation. <clears throat> innovation is one term that can be, uh, you know, something that is good or it can turn out when you know, if it's not taking good care of all of these usability aspects and all of that it just can go in a different wrong direction right so when you're saying innovation and somebody would have thought about you know why not have a very interesting thing click your light eye but yeah okay this is with apple no apple ka sab log ne copy kiya yeah. Apple has been for years, it's been the flagship. Hiding, hiding the information under yeah, the, the 
Correct. Vinod, uh, any thoughts on this? Can't hear you. We'll have to louder. Yeah, it's uh, that that example is this because the uh, uh, button goes behind uh, under the finger actually. Yes. That's why it's not visible. Yes. And then especially uh, once you're starting it uh, or switching it off, you have to keep looking at that light that is going to be showing here if it is switched off or it is on. Yeah. For right. Ten second, it is blinking. Hmm. So, yeah. So while this is an example, you know, see while it is giving some indication, the visibility of system status is there, not that it is not there, but is it enough? That is also very important, right? Is that adequate? So LED to yahan pe bhi lag hai, whatever that light yahan pe bhi to lag hai, yahan pe bhi to lag hai. Light to lag hai. So you have an interaction and there is a response. Definitely that is there, but is it adequate or it is not is also the question. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next yeah. one. Yeah, the second option I found in my uh, Bluetooth box in uh, Sony. So here the charging port icon is missing. I think I have found lots of time. <laughs> ये charging icon अगर यहाँ पे होता तो ये better होता. So I thought the visibility of system here is failed. So so that's why I just suggest the round ball option में. अगर वहाँ पे कुछ icon होता, so it's better to visible to the user कि यहाँ पे charging port है, you have to open the lid and charge your Bluetooth box. Correct. And this is uh, this is how you have corrected it. You are saying that yes. this is how they should really correct it. Okay. I was wondering, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay. So this is very interesting. Huh? So this is, of course, this is failed uh, from uh, one aspect, but uh, we, we can also look at other principles that have failed, right? When there is um, help or error prevention, there are other principles also that are failing here, correct? So yeah. another thing is when you start charging this, okay, that is a question. When you start charging this, is there any kind of a response from the system that it has started charging? Is in these device, huh, both show karta hai. There, Achha, is a, L, L, huh, there is a LED light in the power button. So power button front side mein hai, wahan pe dikha hai. Okay, okay. 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 All right. And Hello. we will. Yeah. Somebody was saying something. I think we know. Okay. So we can oh, look at some of these examples, revisit some of these examples when we are looking at other principles also. As I said, you know, when there is something that is ineffective, uh, usability fails. There are a lot of aspects why usability fails. Okay, Nilesh, thoughts on this? No, all good. Okay, you agree? Yeah. So what? Okay, perfect. okay, all right. Okay, all right. Yes, Ashok, any thoughts? Yeah, sorry. I said you have any thoughts on this that you would want to share? Mm. Actually, uh, <laughs> again, actually, I uh, when I was learning this thing now, these points now, so mm. we were discussing only one point. So we, आगे जाके मतलब वो confusion नहीं हो accessibility or UX issues मतलब सारे product के लिए बहुत सारे हो सकते हैं right but अभी हम लोग एक मेरा हिसाब से अगर एक चीज के ऊपर discussion कर रहे हैं तो अगर उसको ज़्यादा अच्छे से clear कर ले तो ज़्यादा अच्छा है multiple usability 
इश्यूज या फिर उसका मल्टीपल ये थियोरेस्टिक फेलियर का एक बार में डिस्कशन करना पता नहीं अगर सबको समझ में आ जाता है तो ठीक है बट मुझे लगता है एक एक पॉइंट पर एक एक बार डिस्कस करते तो ज्यादा अच्छा रहता फिर बाद में आ, कोई भी एक भी प्रोडक्ट देखने के बाद समझ में आ जाता है राइट कि ये 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 पॉइंट्स जो है इसमें फेल हो रहे हम्म करेक्ट यूर इन अ वे राइट वॉट यूर सजेस्टिंग इज वाई डोंट वी लुक एट गो थ्रू ऑल द प्रिंसिपल्स लर्न ऑल द प्रिंसिपल्स वन आफ्टर द अदर एंड देन वाई डोंट वी लुक डिस्कस अबाउट सर्टन एग्जाम्पल्स जेस that is what you are saying correct correct yeah. now there is that is one way of approaching it and which is also a good way of approaching it okay now yeah. the thing is that we are looking as a team uh, to so we are doing this activity as a team for the first time okay yeah. and everybody could have the right examples or wrong examples right but there are situations that we all right we accept what is there we don't want to be really right now uh, judging and saying that no this is not at all okay I, by the no, end of this uh, yeah no what i'm uh, let me just complete what i'm saying is by the end of uh, this whole series of sessions everybody is going to un- be able to look at a uh product a uh, system uh, or a real life interface and be able to identify how many principles are getting broken here yeah exactly okay so, that is that is what we want to eventually achieve yeah okay right yeah so you can yeah you are right you know uh, yeah there are certain examples which have there are a lot of other principles that are failed and not yeah. really distinctly only one of the, this principle is got failed which is right yeah. right yeah until the time everybody is thinking critically on these uh, we will not be able to learn and eventually everybody is going to be catching up because all of us have different experiences if we are a team which has completely different variety of experiences somebody could have done user experience some could have, some people could have done design some might have never done any of that all of these are there so first let's come up with a speed uh, start getting into the grind of uh, these exercises eventually will have clarity okay yeah all right pravirin yes, one more example yeah. thank you yeah. for getting great examples so i found this example uh, this uh, uh, system visibility means visibility yahan pe thoda sa mere ko poor laga so i didn't say here he failed hai so ये डोर लॉक पोस्ट टू लॉक होता है यहाँ पे कहीं पे इन्फॉर्मेशन नहीं है सो इन्फॉर्मेशन मीन्स आई हैव सजेस्टेड वन आइकन हियर पोस्ट टू लॉक सो कभी कभी ये कंफ्यूजन किसी को होता है जिसको अगर पता नहीं है हाउ टू लॉक द डोर सो यहाँ पे मेरे को ये मिसिंग लगा या सिस्टम स्टेटस थोड़ा पुअर लगा यहाँ पे नॉट से सो मेरे को पुअर लगा यहाँ पे तो इसके सिस्टम स्टेटस क्या है द सिस्टम का स्टेटस ये है कि अभी जो रूम है ओके द डोर और द रूम इज इज इट लॉक इज दिस डोर इज लॉक और इट इज ओपन इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन करेक्ट नाउ इज इट टेलिंग यू द स्टेटस ऑफ दिस इज दिस वेन आई लुक एट जस्ट दिस नॉब यूर is it telling me that uh, is this lock is it open what is the status that is where it is hidden mm-hmm. correct so there is no indication no information up front unless a you uh, it is a known user a user who has experienced this who knows ki press pe lock rehta hai unlock karne ke liye aapko press karna padta hai whatever it is right tab tak wo samjhega nahi ki ye a lock hai ya unlock hai so that is what it is that is where it is feel and also i feel this is a lack of information so yeah uh, as a hmm. new user i think that will be like a child or someone hmm. who is uh, first time using this thing so uske hmm. liye it would, it can be a, a lack of information so yeah correct there is a point that might uh, broke that is a heuristic point which is help and documentation so that hmm. i also feel it is breaking 
yeah that is also aligned also, to this another point which is uh, we have to recognize rather than recall i think that also like every time hmm. usko recall karna padega like hmm. kya aise function karte hain that is what hmm. this is specially failed for the adhd people because they do not hmm. understand the directions yes hmm. so they keep on rotating like uh, how to open like left to right right to left they keep on doing that and in that scenario many times it might stuck also that the the entire uh, door that the lock okay second thing i wanted to say the the designer has shown the lock over here i don't agree with this icon because mm -hmm. basically for the direction so we need to help the user like how to open okay so when if we are uh, for example we are uh, rotating from left to right then the direction is to be like that like that the arrow like the giving like from left to right that direction and the it mention here that the open so it is yeah. as assumed when it is open in this direction so for the lock it's exactly opposite so i don't yeah. like this lock right uh, that's fine so uh, we are we will not clearly judge on the solutions as such right now we will just coming back to the point of visibility of system status is this a uh, knob or is this door there is a system in play here right so there is a knob there is a system to open there is a system to lock it um, there is a latch that goes inside right and because of that it gets locked so is this system that is in play here is it telling me that uh, uh, what is what is here what is this door locked or not locked is the first most important information that is there correct Right. Yeah, the uh, designer who has uh, the prabinan who has taken the uh, efforts to show the lock now i am saying that is not correct if he could have yeah. shown the arrow but it's in previous slide he has taken the right uh, uh, right uh, efforts for showing that particular the indication i think plug ka tha na kuch to yes. plug karne ke liye ha that is correct yeah. he has given this one see mm -hmm. this yeah. is right and the second one he has taken the efforts but that effort should be on the arrow side so he will yeah and we can yeah we can talk when we talk about other principles also then there are so many pr principles that have gone broken here and we can look at these some of these uh, identify some of these and look at the principles and then start giving providing solutions to these together let's do that activity also okay let's move on to the next one mahesh yeah i look at So this is a ATM machine example. I hope everyone has faced this. There is a some uh, ATM anxiety. जो सब लोग ने face किया रहेगा. Is is my uh, personal things are uh, safe or not? So in this case, in some ATM machines, there are no alerts or message indicating shortage of cash or no cash available. So uh, when i visit atm most of the time this this, this happens with me ki when i want to go atm uh, i want to withdraw some uh, amount of money i uh, i process the uh, i insert the card i uh, do the uh, uh, step follow the step at the end i get a message that ki there is no cash fantastic so, example instead of that uh they they would show me uh, uh up front ki there are limit of cash you can withdraw this much or number of uh, we can't show the number of notes we can at least we can prompt a message that showing that there is a less shortage of money and in in some cases uh, even even i face some problem also like um, uh when when i going in deeper steps i don't see a back button in that okay I, so yeah you are talking about a lot of other uh, principles that are broken you're right right, right? right. and very interesting this is a problem statement that you are uh, talking about if we try to align it to the visibility of system status you are saying that you know there has to be one additional uh, physical aspect that has to brought in the system did not probably come up with a solution in itself right like for example right. if this this is the system did it tell me yeah. up front that this is there is no cash or you basically right. if it is no cash you cannot uh, cannot withdraw right no withdrawal possible is it telling me it up front on the screen 
it is not right not. yeah so yeah so before even so after if we say that you know the system is not telling me whatever is the current status of the system and i have to start interacting with it uh, for a few seconds and that is when i realize that okay something that i'm not able to do again this right. is about other principles that are also broken here yeah yeah there are uh, error prevention or uh, prevention also there and there are mm -hmm. uh, they are not showing me up front uh, a prompt message which is a which might be a visible visibility of system settle mm -hmm. Correct. So, yeah, there are more principles in there, but I think yeah. this one, they, they, uh, basically the if, if if there is no cache, the system should show me a no cache ka board instead of showing this no cache. Ka, this is partially right, mm. but it's a not a tech driven uh, solution. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Mahesh, you have the second image bhi laga hai na, wo pictures. Yeah. Speaking a lot and very good example. Yeah. first yeah. is the first one is that the first one is that is that the first one 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 that flower and only the name the state bank of india na, I no, guess. No, I, I picked this photo from uh, uh, google only Haan. because uh, we cannot click photos in atm no? Nee, the, I'm not yeah. talking that. I'm saying like this. Jo jo screen apne dikha hai na, jahan pe huh. wo flower wala image hai na, to wo right. splash screen hota hai mostly ATM ke liye. That is just for the saying about the company or like the bank or maybe some. Nee, nee. Nee, nee, ye sirf example hai. Me real life me isa bol raha hu ki jab aap koi bhi ATM, mar, not most of the uh, bade ka uh, ATMs me, maybe Saraswat ya Union sa ATMs ka uh, machines me jaoge aap. तो उसमें क्या होता है आप उसमें पहले फॉर्म नहीं करता अगर आपका कैश शॉर्टेज रहेगा तो ये तो सिर्फ एग्जांपल है इधर एसबीआई का है एसबीआई या अभी बहुत अच्छा इंप्रूव हुआ है लेकिन कुछ छोटे बैंक्स में जाओगे आप उसमें एटीएम मशीन में जाओगे तो उसमें पेंट में बताता है अपफ्रंट फॉर्म नहीं करता है आपको कार्ड डालना पड़ता है एटीएम मशीन सब स्टेप्स फॉलो होने के बाद एंड में बताता है कि देयर इज नो कैश या फिर आप एंजाइटी हो जाता है ना कि यार ये क्या हुआ कभी-कभी आवाज भी आता है लेकिन पैसा कैश नहीं आता बाहर सो आप करेक्ट या तो ये पर्टिकुलर एसबीआई ही नहीं है तो दूसरे एटीएम्स मशीन भी हो सकते हैं राइट दिस इज जस्ट अ एग्जांपल इमेज या एनी अदर थॉट्स Yes, Rupali, ये बहुत real uh, real life uh, example है तो मेरे साथ बहुत बार हुआ है ऐसे मतलब सबके साथ भी होता है तो basically हम जब cash withdraw करने के लिए जाते हैं तो uh, first of all वो ATM में जाना पड़ता है तो क्या होता है कि gate पे अगर no cash information रहता है तो वहाँ से हम लोग मतलब uh, उसके ATM के अंदर enter ही नहीं करते so अगर information नहीं रहेगा so basically होता है कि card enter करना पड़ता है दिन सारा पिन कोड डाल के उसके बाद इंफॉर्मेशन आता है देयर इज नो कैश अवेलेबल या इट्स अ रियल लाइफ एग्जांपल है इन टुडे जनरेशन देयर आर सो मच स्कैन स्कैन आर हैपनिंग हां सो देयर आर देयर इज अ एंजाइटी ऑफ लूजिंग मनी या या अगेन दिस इज एग्जांपल दैट विल कम बैक विद and there are so many some of these examples that we can really repeat them so when we are going to be looking at the next principles we can reuse some of these examples because we'll be able to correlate with so many of those right so not every time that we are going to be looking at the next principles you have to go out again and look for examples you can reuse your own examples also right okay yeah, yeah. so sorry to Ali. yeah huh, well, uh, may i ask one thing to all कि अगर यहां पे अगर सॉल्यूशन होगा तो सॉल्यूशन क्या हो सकता है नहीं अभी दिस इज नॉट अ टाइम ओके सॉरी आई विल हैव टू पॉज यू हियर आई विल टेल यू व्हाई आई वांट टू पॉज यू हियर इज बिकॉज़ व्हेन वी सी दैट दिस प्रॉब्लम इज अ यूजेबिलिटी प्रॉब्लम एंड इट्स अ बिगर प्रॉब्लम राइट सो इट इज इट देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स दैट व्हेन अप्लाइड इट विल स्टार्ट वर्किंग वेल एंड व्हेन वी लुक एट ऑल द प्रिंसिपल्स वी विल बी एबल टू कम अप विद अ होलिस्टिक सॉल्यूशन दैट हाउ इट कैन वर्क वेल विद लिमिटेड 
uh, understanding, let's not jump to solutions. And that is always the wrong thing that uh, we end up so many uh, times doing. It's a human tendency to come up with solutions. Anxiety high reta hai to come up with solutions, but that is not the right approach. Okay. Let's not jump Good. to it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, this is the office. This work. is Mumbai office uh, yes. for folks from Kolkata. <laughs> <laughs> this is the seventh floor, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. So, uh, so I have seen a uh, lot of time that uh, if the see if the security guard is there, okay, obviously. But uh, now since the, there are very less people coming, but when the usually there are a lot of people who just walk out from the lift and just enter. I uh, no, there is no status that I need to swipe before entering. So whether I can access the door, or uh, then the swipe machine pro so. There, there might there are solutions that can be applied over here where you can show that the swipe machine is here and you no, let's not swipe. talk about solutions yeah again, right yeah. so what you're saying what is the problem that you're saying is is the door lock yeah. is the question that you have in yeah. mind yeah. okay right because there are so many times when you are uh, uh, generally walking through different uh, shops there are so many times there are class doors and especially it's in the mall and if you are at 10 o'clock come out of the theater and there are shops and you won't want to door to hai band pata nahi lekin really open hai ya nahi open hai correct should i be entering this restaurant not sure right that question would be there especially if it is a glass door and shows is closed that is is that what you say yes and also the handles on both the sides so probably a push and pull is something that uh, the we, we are used to it but again the, the i do experience it uh, myself like my that uh, i tend to should, push the door should i push the door or should i push uh, the door to open yeah, it? Yes. okay okay and the information that is there i think um, if is is all the information that is there upfront that I see is it really important to while accessing the door? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, that is again a different heuristic that we can yeah. consider. Yes. Okay. Any other thoughts? Push pull. I think is clear idea because this is both sides. I think. No. Ah. <laughs> I like this conversation, by the way. <laughs> 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 I no, guess the conversation is also important. <laughs> hmm. If you don't use it properly. Right? Okay. So yeah, right. Uh, and these are again different principles. Go ahead, okay. Hmm. So yeah, Mumbai office ka entrance, right? Yeah. Seventh floor ka. So right. So right side में वो एक छोटा सा table दिख रहा है उसमें क्या sanitizer है यह कुछ है इसमें cabin यानी कहाँ पे no 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 यानी पानी right side water bottles अच्छा ये हाँ that is a guest space so this is a corridor from ये आप lift से अंदर आ गए you are on the passage okay so this is where you know yeah you are just before entering your main office this is a corridor space where there is a sofa and uh, for guests there is water no i am not yeah. talking about this space ye yahan pe gate se right side mein ek hai na chota sa ek table dikh raha hai ha wo 8th floor mein floor pe hai ye standing ke liye wahan pe sir khade reh ke aap baat kar sakte ho discussions ke liye hai acha yeah स्वाइप मैसिंग है लेफ्ट में एंड यहाँ पे कुछ है जो राइट साइड में है ये अगर सेम साइड में होता तो ये भी विजिबल होता कि यहाँ पे स्वाइप करके दिन ये एंटर करना पड़ेगा ऐसे कुछ लग रहा है हाँ सॉल्यूशंस है एक्सेक्टली अर्ली सॉल्यूशंस नहीं करते तो हम लोग ट्रैप में टक जाते हैं कभी कभी अर्ली सॉल्यूशंस when I look at this door, if this door is something that is um, that is openable, right, yeah. or it is locked. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. 
and there are so many of uh, these things that we get used to certain patterns and we start expecting that every person will by now be able to understand it right but if you take somebody who is not a corporate person has never entered a building will uh, may struggle with exactly what uh, nilesh has pointed out the first question is the de- door locked or is it open राइट ओके Yeah. so he feels stuck stuck up Correct. so that is called the non door so here even we have the the uh, hand uh, sorry holding that we yeah. can but we are not sure whether we need to pull or we need to push yeah <laughs> yeah exactly dormant yeah normal door sorry i thought it was normal door that you said okay so interesting conversation the next one that we spoke about the last session was um, match between a system and the real world uh, i don't know if anybody missed that session but quickly if we want to go through it we said that okay it is familiarity that is most important when we are saying that is um, match between the system and the real world who's real world is a very important question so therefore it is very important to understand uh, for designers and testers when i'm saying testers usability testers who are going to be doing heuristic testing to understand your user their scenarios uh, their um, knowledge uh, all of that basically understand their personas to be able to then identify that okay what is is the system uh, how do we uh, create a system that they are able to understand clearly okay without a lot of uh, over um, you know b- without a need of training and all of that something very uh, easily that they will be able to comprehend the system right so we said that the most important word becomes um, here is familiarity familiarity of each segment of a user that is going to be using the product right so we cannot generalize this we cannot say any user are uh, under uh, in the world whatever age group whatever education um, all of that uh, they should they'll be able to you know everything real world and that will you cannot really it is difficult to generalize that solution sometimes you could just degrade the whole experience making it as simple uh, not not i would not that's a wrong word um, you know giving not correct uh, examples right so familiarity becomes important user samjho uska familiarity so that is what is what we saw so there are iconography we have seen uh, with iconography uh, there is uh, you can identify uh, there is uh, through we saw that how different age groups and uh, spaces and uh, therefore uh, interfaces all of that can be tied up uh they feel, feel familiar if the user uh, the user is of this age group directly going to be using versus if there is going to be a section that their parents are going to be using you would want to treat it differently right so something similar we saw in other examples right like where could be financial products some dashboards that are there what is that user it is an accounting software you will use that language um uh, so that the user feels that okay i understand what this is trying to talk about we can take other examples that designers use softwares things like photoshop and we talk about as easily as gradient and uh, line space and or we say leading and we say um, uh, text uh, uh, sorry letter spacing and weights uh, we call it um, tones and hues these are terms that designers understand right but you look at other se- uh, uh, a segment of users they will not understand that therefore every software every product uh, physical or digital will have to have 
and understanding of their users and be able to use terminologies and visuals and interactions that are aligned to those uh, functionalities that are being built right we saw other examples uh, which uh, can be you know if it's a, something which is uh, say rigs that are there uh, can there can be something that is visually aligned something that interface is still simpler uh, the language is appropriate and things like that and gives adequate information for one to look at right so yeah some other examples of something which is extremely technical we at times you know you cannot generalize it for another users but it is appropriate uh, with language and visuals and all of that again these are some examples so yeah this is this was one more example about a workflow uh, and uh, some similar things so familiarity was the keyword here uh, and we can look at examples yes nilesh yeah so uh, emoticons can be used to, to display an emotion or sentiment so these are very much matching to the real world yes. yeah The, the second one and again you know see yeah. uh, very interesting this is match between the system and the real world okay so there is a system and the real world in play so it depends completely on your system now if your system is a very casual kind of a system then this that uh, emoticons makes a lot of uh, meaning to it right if your system uh, style uh, or uh, feel is not uh that then uh, the real world could be something different if this is not the right example correct so if your system is something which is casual right more communicative where you want to share feelings with uh, um, uh, you want to express feelings uh yes these emoticons make sense so what you have to understand there are two things here you can't miss this when you're saying real world, so when you're saying yes, users and the real world, we saw that there has to be the real world. You can't miss this. This is this is tightly there together in this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think a little different, uh, Rupali. Okay. So I feel like even we ourselves are also a system, if you consider it in that way. And if I mm -hmm. see this kind of emotions which is uh, shown by uh, Nilesh, right? Nilesh mm -hmm. was. So yeah. if I see someone like uh, you know the uh, the fourth uh, uh, from the first line from right side there is a third icon like it's a surprise okay so it's in surprise or maybe the fear the if I see the someone is like that and they're expressing the surprise so I can relate with that I understand that that person is surprised or he might be feared afraid of something so I think this emo uh, emoticon was actually making sense for me. Uh, when we are seeing the match between the system and the real world and what you are saying is about the system the real system like it's in the physical world it's in the real world but even if we consider ourselves like we are also uh, a system ourselves like then we can relate with each other so if you get this thread then you will also understand like when yeah. we are seeing the where the chair how it should be whether it's a three uh, three legs or the four legs but having the sitting area is where the one person can sit that we can call it a chair. Correct. Right. While it is very important, right? See, what I'm trying to draw a point is that uh, now that we are talking about this specific heuristic and we are looking at real world, so this is expression of a real world. That's true. I'm saying let's keep mapping in our examples with the system that it is used in, right? So if this system is used in a communication, or uh, some kind of uh, a space where you want to express your feeling then this is appropriate that is that is what i'm trying to just say yes, yes and i'm not saying this is a bad example this is a good example but it would have been complete if yeah. uh that aspect uh was handled here yeah okay so we've already uh you know three minutes over our time we have some examples and we just have three so we can cover those 
Okay. Uh, no name here, so. No, this was I have added. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so this is about using categories. So if you look at the categories that have been used, so these are also the terms that uh, we use, we have been using. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, up, so apart from the visuals, also the language and the phrases, so if they are used as they are used in the real world, that will help the user. Correct. Yes. So this is not, if I have to just make it a bad example, I can say this is uh, dramatics, right? Yeah. And I could have just say that uh, fun and entertainment instead of comedy, right? So yeah. it is not direct. It is not uh, really how you would ex explain, you know, what did you watch? Oh, I watched a comedy movie. Right, it was what is it to do? I it was a drama or it was a ballet, right? So, what are those otherwise real in how would you communicate? Good example. Any other thoughts? Bhagyashri. So he hmm? sorry. Nothing else to add? No. Okay. All right. Next one, Namrata. Yeah. So this is uh, the washing machine that uh, we I am using daily. So I thought uh, that could be a good example of a mat match between system and real world. So first of all, washing machine is a system uh, to which we are interacting. So here, if you see, there are clear indication of a label. And all the icons that have been used, those are the familiar. We all users are familiar. And also, if you can see, there is a normal wash, heavy wash, delicate wash. And uh, also, there is an express wash uh, where it is showing a, a man is running. So this is, we can relate that how express uh, wash will work or the what is the hard water level. And also, there is a progress bar of a soak, water, rinse, and dry. So when I function this uh, washing machine, that time it uh, populate like the, uh, so uh, right now, what is the time remaining? How much time it will take to soak? How much time it will take to rinse? So it is also indicating a clear visibility uh, of a, about the system. So yeah, so both the things are matching. Uh, so yeah, so the match between system uh, system status and also visibility, both the things are passed in this case. So it is uh, like jargon free and also uh, user can relate the levels and the icons. So is, those are the familiar. Also, there is an eco wash option, which uh, there a uh, leaf icon has been indicated. So what is eco wash? Eco meaning uh, user environment friendly. So that is what it is indicating. So yeah, I, I thought this is a good, could be a good example. Correct. Any thoughts on this? Anybody else? Sohail, Krishna? May I ask, uh, yeah, Mahindra. Ask, uh, what is the eco wash? Yeah, eco wash means which are uh, right now like eco wash means which are very delicate uh, clothes that needs a just a uh, water wash. So for that, this eco wash uh, is there. Also, there is a manual. If you want to go and check what is how we need to use that, there is a manual book always. So we can help the, uh, like we can get the guideline of this, how we can use and how much detergent is needed or not. Also that all the information, whenever I'm indicating, I'm switching on this power button and I'm setting the program, that time in this uh, display board where it is showing time remaining, it displays one cup of detergent or liquid detergent uh, is needed. As a information we data here. So it is very useful to use for a mm -hmm. user. Yeah, especially uh, when you say bed sheet, right? So if there is a bed yeah. sheet, you yes, don't have to figure out. Uh, you don't have to figure out ki, achha, abhi main bed sheet dal rahi hun, which is the sir, it just upfront sets bed sheets. It doesn't say heavy wash or something like that, or mm -hmm. it doesn't say something uh, confusing. And it shows an icon. Woolens also it shows an icon, and oh. uh, um, simply it's woolens or mm -hmm. white or stain wash. So it is using the real life world what typically uh, people use 
and other than it is visually also supporting exactly those terms exactly so i'm confused here Write some of these things. Uh, here I see something P one, P two, P three. What is the indicating the P one, P two program? P one is so see this P one and P two is using as a label. Okay, so ये जो P one whenever I'm starting the power button, I'm setting the program. That time ये display board में ये P one, P two, P three ऐसे करके we can uh, we can see that which one we are using instead of writing the entire text like normal, heavy, and delicate. They are using this P one, P two, P three as a code number. Okay, so P means here uh, is for grace. ये बहुत इंफॉर्मेटिव है फोटो द इको वॉश इज लुकिंग लाइक इट सिलेक्टेड और इट्स इंडिकेट दैट इट्स बीन सिलेक्टेड या that is true mm-hmm. but right now let's just look at match between the system and the real world okay so when you are saying match system and the real world we are saying familiarity okay so that is what i said you know let's park this yes this is something which is which we can really debate and discuss about for a long duration but aside that uh, let's just look at is there have they been able to bring familiarity in their interface ड्यूरेशन भी दिखाता है कितना टाइम लाइक ये छोटा छोटा डॉट्स है that is indicating a progress of uh, between the soak and wash or wash and rinse so everything is uh, light ek uh, blink karta hai okay yeah and mm-hmm. that again is a different all different usability now we'll start narrowing okay we in the first one because we were doing all of this activity for the first time we just kept an open forum that uh, let's uh, start everybody bring up examples now we'll start really gradually start narrowing down to the point that we are discussing okay and gradually we'll come to that so here we are discussing only about familiarity so what is this able to achieve familiarity if you see more points on familiarity let's talk about it i thought because i was like mixing it with that left wall example agar aapke paas jitne bhi floats ke number hai to usme kya press the to usme light se highlight hota hai to jo left ke andar hai that knows what it is a press the or not yeah but that's another you heuristic that we're talking that. about yeah we are yeah. not talking about that heuristic here right now in this image we are only talking about familiarity yeah so the terms used uh, are, are are more or less similar to the real world apart from that uh, the express wash or something uh, that is given as uh, an additional feature but apart from that the rest of the terms do match to the real world term and visuals yeah correct okay yeah. for me for me it did. Does <clears throat> the Express Echo are pretty clear? As in, I don't. Uh, I Express is pre- it's a pretty quick, quick wash. Yes, mm-hmm. it isn't. It is taking that quick wash. Uh, Echo is more like economical, where it's going to use less power, <clears throat> and uh, just like we have Echo modes in car of late, right? So it's yeah. what it's going to give me more mileage. 
right similarly if here it's going to use less power whatever you put in is going to you uh, do it in a uh, you know uh, using less power and heat uh, so this is very interesting and we should take this as an example when we really because there is a different different interpretation everybody right. has oh uh, yeah so it's very interesting yeah, yeah. okay but eco is again used from a, uh, on another system right <laughs> so if you see in ninja in any other like e-commerce platform but again, that also, is a system right? so, i'm talking we are talking about yeah. real world what do you mean by system like that is another application right? no it is not an application it's again a term it is a function that is here okay but i would still want to halt this we have like five people have already spoken about this and this is a fantastic example and we can take it again when we are talking about other principles because everybody with just that eco wash everybody has a completely different interpretation about it and this is very beautiful as a design problem and only namrata knows what is the real uh, what is the real function <laughs> this is a helpful for manual <laughs> yeah don't don't explain don't explain that in this session we'll yeah. figure it out by the end yeah sure okay so basically uh, rupali what happened ki currently ye uh, climate change aur iske wajah se eco word <laughs> zyada use ho raha hai eco friendly uh, yeah. मतलब ये डिजास्टर आ रहे हैं ऐसे कुछ इसलिए सो ये इको वर्ड बहुत ज़्यादा यूज़ है करेक्ट बट कृष्णा हैड अ वेरी डिफरेंट इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ इट सो लेट्स लेट्स होल्ड दैट हियर अमेजिंग वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन आई नो दैट वी सी देर इज वे यू नो वी स्पोक दिस इज वॉट गवर स्पोक द लास्ट टाइम राइट देर आर डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ लर्निंग ऑल्सो देर इज divergent thinking we go haywire and that was the real uh, just to break away from the only from interfaces that we look at digital interfaces that we look at every day we went outside we looked at the world okay somewhere we probably could have gone far ahead where we might not want would, would not want to have eventured you know where uh, uh, say sohel brought a, a, a banana into a picture right so there are really different examples that we brought up now what we are going to be doing is that now we are crossing the second principle we are going to be moving into the third principle now we will start looking only at the principle okay and then the last activity when we do the last activity we will look at examples and we will look at um, uh we'll identify some of the these uh, examples that we have got and we'll look at you know how many different uh principles that it is broken so that is also going to be an interesting activity okay but moving ahead now we are going to be really being uh, sure that whatever example that we are going to be picking is and we're going to be talking only about that principle and it could have broken multiple principles and we can note that down also that we can see that it is broken this principle and that broken principle that we don't want to stop people thinking and just not narrow things down yeah but we'll structure it moving ahead so this is great conversation thank you i'm so glad that everybody spoke today uh and let's continue this communication ahead the next tuesday session uh is uh, moved to wednesday because uh, tuesday is now the holy holiday uh, wednesday will catch up and we'll look at uh, three principles together because that is more going to be a, a training kind of a session and then uh, of course we will have some question and answer and all of that and again the uh, friday that we meet we will look at uh, examples and have discussions good All right. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Bye. Have a great day. Yeah. Bye. Happy Friday. Bye. 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 Bye.